If you like to play in tournaments, or if you've not played in a tournament yet, you may be interested in an exercise that I call Charleston Force. A lot of times at these tournaments, they have prizes for a specific hand on the card. This exercise is a great way to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston Force. We got to pick the categories though. Here are all the categories on the card. We're going to pick three. Your category. Quince. addition. So we're going to make these hands work. We'll just say we're the dealer for these. So we'll take 14 tiles. Let's see what we can do with force one. But we do have a couple of jokers. We have one flower. No white dragons, so I'm thinking the year category is not going to work this time, at least at the moment. Let's think about either a quint or addition. So for addition, we have nine, three, eight, four, seven, five. We do have a one because we need a 12. So let's say we could use that. Maybe we should go ahead and keep the one suit options. We could do seven five. Really, that's the only option at the moment. I'm thinking we could either try for quince or addition here. So let's go ahead and do that and give up these three. Actually, there's a nine four, but we don't have a one. Or we could do something mixed suit we have no three. Let's go ahead and give these three up. If you get a joker, exchange it. So we have an eight, three, two. Eight, three, two. I'm thinking maybe we should switch to a quint. Maybe with a consecutive quint. Nee. Let's see here. Let's keep the five and the one. Seven, eight, nine. We could do the a consecutive quint. Maybe it's a bit of a stretch, of course. Let's let's pass these three and see if we can pair up. There's nines. That's why you don't want to pass a pair. So let's try a quint. Maybe we could even do, let's see here. We could do seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, the last one, or we could do three, six, nine. We don't have the six or the nine, or we could do the first one with dragons in the wind. Either way, we have tiles to pass. I'm thinking Quint here. There's a nine. We do have the flower here. So let's go ahead and give up those. If we played, if we can get threes and a six bam, three bam, six bam, we could play the three, six, nine Quint. Really, we only need one one dragon. Let's hold the south and the green and then mix this up and pass these three. We're playing quince. We're in between two quince. Okay, there's a north, so that might be an option, but we have like numbers. Let's, let's go ahead and pick one. We might as well just keep what we had. Okay, let's pass these three. Okay, we have nothing. We did get the red back. 
let's keep the red and pass these three. Try and get some options in here. We got the three. I'm thinking three, six, nine, quint. We have tiles we can pass. Since a red is in here, I remember passing a red. Let's give up the green and do a full pass. Let's see if we can get that red dragon back. Nope. Okay, so I'm thinking the 369 quint right here. We obviously need to draw, but we could even switch to the wind dragon quint. So I don't think that was too bad. It could be stronger though. So I'd say this would be the quint try. Forcing a quint. Since we had two jokers, I think that would be the time to force a quint when you have jokers. Okay, let's do another. We need to do the year and addition. We have no flowers. No white dragons. This is going to be rough if we're going to force. Okay, so let's see what we can do. I think we should try for a year hand because we do have um, one eight. Here's a one. There is a news. So maybe we can use the south for a year hand. Let's try to do a year hand here. Since we have no flowers, it's going to be hard to do an addition hand. And we have no multiples except, of course, the one, which is not helpful. So let's go ahead and pass one of each suit. Either way, it's going to be risky. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a red. That could be good joker bait. Let's pass one of each suit right here. You know what? I don't want to be left with like numbers. Let's switch this out. Pass these three. Okay, we got a north. That's a keeper. We got a one. Just keep every tile in that category. We really don't need the red, but we don't have to break it up yet. Although we do have a pair there, but we're forcing a hand. So I'm going to collect all 2018 tiles. Let's pass these three. No keepers here. So this is going to be equally risky no matter how you slice it. We'll pass these three. Okay, there's an eight. We'll keep that for 2018. And we have tiles we can pass. There's a white dragon and a flower and a red dragon. Look at that. Okay, we don't need both south. So we have north and south we have a dragon right here a dragon a flower 2018 we've got lots of options here i would leave all my options open i think what i would do is pass two pass one blind seven nine so for the optional cross I think what I would do here is break this up and do a full pass. We got the red back. So we have joker bait. We have four discards in joker bait. We really have more than that because we're not going to be able to keep all of this. I think probably we're, we're closest most likely to news with 
2018, the concealed one, but I would not pick a hand. I would hold all the 2018 tiles until I ran out of discards. When these are gone, then we would pick a hand. If you would have done something differently for Force 2, write it in the comment section. Okay, so that was the year. We can take that down. And now we need to make an addition work. All right, so for addition, we have two flowers, which is nice. We have a two. Now we need to think about the other components. Seven, five, eight, four, or nine, three. We have no nines, no fours. We have no three. We do have a seven, five though, right here, but we're kind of stuck. This is the wrong suit. We need the one bam, two bam. But this is what we start with. It's going to look bleak if you're forcing. So let's see if we can, let's keep the eight because maybe we'll draw a four. Let's keep this eight. So let's break these up. Actually, yeah, might as well break it up now. You really want to break up the multiples that you don't need if you're forcing a hand because you don't want to get stuck with a pair or like numbers. Let's pass these three. We got an eight. And here's a seven and another eight. So we're forcing. We need, we have a two. We could do eight. We need a four bam to make this one work. We could keep this eight if we get a four crack. We could keep this maybe for joker bait, or if we get a five bam, this way we could get rid of these. So just by process of elimination, you can identify tiles to pass. So let's go ahead and pass these three. Okay, there's a five and a four. So here we have eight, five, two, mixed suit. Or we could keep the four if we get a two bam or a one bam, a uh, two crack or a one crack. Oh, there's a one bam. Okay. Eight, eight, four, seven. Okay, seven, seven, five, two. So that would work too right here. Oh, wait. It is seven, five. Okay, so it's eight, four, or seven, five. So that's what it should have been. Okay, so let's just keep these. We need to give something up though. I think I would keep the one to give us options here. Maybe even the eight. Uh, maybe mixed suit would be best. Let's, let's give these up. Let's see, eight, four, eight, four, one. That's another option right there. Oops. Okay, eight, four, one, two, seven, five, one, two. So we have two options here and that leaves us tiles to pass. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we have a three, <laughs> nine, three. So we've got two tiles we can pass. So we have to make a choice. We've got two multiples here, two choices, two multiples. Let's go ahead and break this up, pass those three, and build around multiples. Okay, seven, bam, that's not gonna be helpful. Although we could go ahead and keep it and maybe do seven, five, one, three. Oh, here's a, no, it's a two. We need 12, not three. Okay, here we go. 
eight dot and a four crack eight four one two so we don't have a 12 in cracks though let's get get rid of the seven bam see if we can get something good in here no nothing nines go with threes so we can pass these let's pass these three Okay, so let's just see what we have. Oops. 8, 4, 12. There's one option. 7, 5, 12 mixed suits. And then here we have 8. We don't have a 4 BAM. 7. We don't have a 5 crack. I think what I would do is discard in this order. So we have really only six tiles towards an addition hand. This was really rough, but that's kind of what it looks like when you're forcing a hand. We have four, four discards before we really have to make a decision and just see how the tiles come in. So that is the result of an addition. Specific numbers, that's a really hard category, I think. Get your set out and give this exercise a try. You could even pick a specific hand and force a specific hand. Sometimes in tournaments, they do that. They might pick either a category or a specific hand. If you decide to give it a try, let me know how it goes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.